Google Meet is a video communication service developed by Google. Anyone with a Google account can use Google Meet and create a video meeting, invite up to 100 participants, and meet up to 60 minutes per meeting. For those who use Google Classroom, you now have an easy option for managing meets with your students. Google has rolled out an update that fully integrates Google Meet with Google Classroom. For each Google Classroom you have, you can now generate a unique Google Meet link for the students in that classroom. Let's take a look at the specifics and how to set this up and how to use this new integration. First, go to the Google Classroom as normal and open up one of your classes. Next, click on the gear icon in the top right corner to access the settings for that class. Now scroll down to the general section of the settings. Here you'll find a setting for Google Meet. Click the button for generate Meet link. This will now create a unique Google Meet link for your class. If you don't want your students to have access to the link just yet, you can turn off the setting for visible to students. If you turn on the setting, the link will be accessible in the stream page and classwork page. You can also click on the down arrow next to the Meet link to copy or reset the link if needed. Copying the Meet link is helpful if you want to invite someone who is not part of your classroom such as another teacher or a guest speaker. When done, click the Save button on the top right-hand corner of the page to save these changes. Now, if you and your students go to that classroom, you can access the link at the top of the stream page, as well as at the top of the classwork page. In addition to being convenient, this is also a special meeting that does not allow the students to join before you or rejoin after you leave the meeting. So that's how integration works between the Google Classroom and the Google Meet. For those who just want to use Google Meet without having the Google Classroom, you can still do so. First, you have to open the Google Meet. To do this, you can click the waffle button at the top right corner of your screen. You'll see Meet as one of the options here. Alternatively, you can simply go to the Meet website at meet.google.com. Once you're there, you can choose to join or start the meeting. Now let's look at how to start the meeting. I'm going to click this button and start my meeting by giving it a nickname. Now I'm going to call it Tutorial 101. As soon as I click continue, I will be asked for permissions. You can see here I have a preview of what the webcam sees. This is a great way to test your audio and video before starting the meeting. If there's something wrong, you can just go to the settings by clicking this three dots icon. This setting allows you to change your microphone as well as your video quality. Now if you're done setting up your audio and video, just click Done. Once you're ready to start the meeting, click the Join Now button. But if you just want to present your screen without your video, go ahead and click the Present button. This time, I will click the Join Now button. Here we go, we are now in the meeting room. The first thing you'll see is the name and the link of the meeting. If I share this link with the participants, they will have an access to this room. I can also copy the join information or I can manually add people by adding their email address and they will receive an email invitation. Now I'll just leave it as it is. For now, I'm going to show you the Meet interface. First, you can mute and unmute yourself and you can turn on and switch off your camera. When your microphone and camera are turned off, the respective icons are shaded red and crossed out. 
In addition to that, you have the function of adding captions. If you have difficulty hearing or need help following what's being said, you can click Turn on Caption to display auto-generated text of the conversation. However, the captions are not perfect, and if you record a video meeting, captions are not recorded and won't appear when you play the recording. If you want to see who's in the meeting, go to the top right corner. You can see here two additional buttons. First is the People icon. This gives us the list of all participants in our meeting. A great feature here is that you can choose to remotely mute the participants, turn their camera off, or even remove them from the meeting room. Another thing you can do here is you can pin a participant. The second icon at the top right is the chat icon. Teachers and students can use this feature to raise questions and ideas during discussion. This chat is a public chat, which means that everyone in the meeting room can read and respond to the chat. Aside from using the chat box, we want our students to get engaged without them interrupting the flow of the lesson. In this case, they can just send some reactions. The Google Meet doesn't have a built-in reaction feature. We can activate this by installing an extension called Nod Extension. To install this, Search Nod extension for Google Meet. Once installed, you can see its icon on the top right corner of your screen. Now let's go back to Meet. On the upper left corner, you will now see different reaction icons such as the thumbs up, hand raising, clapping hands, waving hand, and other which you and your students can use. Now when anyone clicks an emoticon, it will appear on the lower left corner of the screen which is visible to all participants. Let's say you are in the middle of the class discussion and your students would like to ask something. They can just use the hand raise icon to get your attention. However, in order for your students to send these emoticons, they also have to install the Nod extension. Just like in Zoom, we can also present our screen using Google Meet. When I click this button, I can have the option to present my entire screen or just a window that is currently open. When you present your entire screen, everything you can see on your screen will be shown to everyone in the meeting. If you choose to present your entire screen, you have to give an additional permission. Once you give the additional permission, now your screen is being presented. Once you're done presenting your screen, simply click Stop Presenting and you're back to your webcam view. However, unlike Zoom, Google Meet doesn't have a built-in whiteboard tool yet. But there are many free whiteboard tools which can be used with Google Meet, one of which is the Jamboard. This time, let's take a look at how we can use Jamboard in Google Meet. Jamboard is an interactive digital whiteboard that makes it easy to create and share ideas in real time. You can get this application at jamboard.google.com. Have your Jamboard open in one tab. Now we have here our whiteboard. Once you've opened the Jamboard, don't forget to go back to your Meet screen. Present your screen with a Jamboard by clicking Present Now. Then, choose the window and click Share. Now you can now go back to the Jamboard screen so your students can see what you are writing or drawing. On the upper part of the Jamboard, you will see the background option. This will allow you to change the background of your whiteboard. You can have it with dots, rules, squares, graph, or you may change its color. On the left side, you will see the different tools including a pen, marker, highlighter, brush, as well as color choices. Another tools are the eraser, select tool, and the sticky note tool. 
Here you can choose from the different colors for your sticky note. Then after adding that sticky note, you can drag it around the whiteboard. Beneath the sticky note is where you can add images. Here you can have different options of pictures which you can present. You can upload, search in Google. You can upload an image from your Google Drive or images in your folder. There's also a laser tool which you can use to point to different places in your screen. Another feature of Jamboard is that you can add multiple pages by simply clicking this arrow up here. But what I want to give more emphasis is its feature that allows for collaboration and interaction among teacher and students. To do this, let's share this whiteboard with the attendees in your Google Meet, just like how you would share any document. Simply click the share button in the upper right corner. Now you can share the jam to specific people by entering their names or email addresses. Or instead of sharing this to specific people, you can get a shareable link so that anyone can access it. At the moment, this jam is private so we need to change its settings. Now let's choose the option to anyone with the link. Then, choose the option can edit. After changing the setting, click save. You can now copy this link and give it to your students in the Google Meet. Now let's go back to the Meet tab. Click the chat icon, then paste the link of the Jamboard. Now the students can just simply click the link and have access to the Jamboard where they can write and draw with you. If you want to be creative, you can use the Jamboard to make interactive activities like posting a picture and let the students scribble or draw on it. Or maybe have a drag and drop activity like this. Now the last feature of Jamboard that I'd like to share with you is the option to download all the whiteboard pages as PDF. Just click the three dots button and choose download as PDF to have a copy of the notes which can also be shared to your students. When done using the jam, don't forget to go back to Google Meet and click stop presenting. Back to our main view. On the right part of the screen, click these three dots and you will see more options. In here, you will see the record option. When you click this button, everyone will be notified that you will be recording the meeting. Then you will see this red icon in the top left corner of the screen. Recording meeting is useful when you want to review the meeting later or share it with the students who couldn't attend the video conferencing. Recordings will be saved to your Google Drive when finished. When you are done with the meeting, simply press this button. So that's the overview on how you can use Google Meet in creating engaging learning experiences. Google Meet will also have more updates in the coming months such as customizable background, having breakout rooms, generating meeting attendance, including hand raising, and other great features.